Yes, that is the big mystery that both Robin and Cody are presenting is that their life is so difficult, so terrible. The family has been so awful to them, but they're also so mad, so heartbroken, so upset that they left. I can tell you I've been in like bad workplace situations or bad relationships. And when the other person, I got fired or left or whatever the situation may be, there was a sense of relief. And there was frustration, but it really quickly became turned into, I can't believe I waited so long. Um, and I think a lot of people can relate to that sensation of when you're in a bad situation, you're part of a club or whatever, where you didn't fit in and it wasn't good and people were mean, that, you, that when you were kicked out or left, there was more than anything a sense of relief. That's exactly what Janelle is describing. It's exactly what Christine is describing. Mary hasn't described it, but I'll tell you, Mary from this tell-all seems a lot calmer. She's really quick to be like, I'm not married. I don't have sister wives. She seems, I'm hoping that's true. They all seem much better. Cody and Rob, on the other hand, are still gnashing their teeth, tearing their hair, screaming about how they've been wronged, and everyone was so awful to them. So Cody keeps saying how he never loved Christine. She's been a burden to him his whole time. He has suffered to love her, but that man cannot go more than five minutes without mentioning her name. And you know what? However you feel about Christine getting married quickly, she is she is so over this. I mean, she still has the stuff of it, and I get that. I don't think it's unusual that someone who just got out of a almost 30-year relationship still has some hang-ups. I get it. But she has it in such a different way than Cody does. And then here's Robin. Robin. No one has loved her. They've been bullied. They've been beat up. They've been terrorized. And she's crying about how the kids aren't there. She would always race to go see them if she was invited. Like, this does not make sense. There is no coherence but between her story about how everyone has brutalized her and her kids and that she's so desperate to reconnect and to, to sit on the porch with them. That does not make sense. There's no part of that that makes sense. And I just don't believe it. I just don't believe that, I don't know. I don't know if I don't believe that she's sad or if I don't believe that they've been mean to her or probably both, that she is not as sad as she is pretending. This is all a performance to a certain degree, other than she did benefit a lot. She got their money. She They were forced to come to her house. They were forced to apologize to her all the time. Whenever she needed a little bit of, you know, drama and excitement, she could create this whole storyline about how she's been wronged. And then Cody swoops in and kind of emotionally beats everyone up until they apologize and do right by her. I do think she liked that. Um but, you know, this whole, you know, how can you want to have sit on the porch with your sister wives when you didn't want to even see them for a long time? And we know that because Mary was right up there. You, she's never accused Mary of being cruel to her. And yet she still didn't want to spend time with Mary. So tell me what's going on.